गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मुंशी रशीद इस्लाम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग जे आई एस कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट ए न्यू सब्जेक्ट विथ दिस सेमिस्टर विथ ए न्यू लेसन एंड दैट सब्जेक्ट नेम इज इंजीनियरिंग मेकानिक्स एंड सब्जेक्ट कोड इज एम ई टू जीरो वन एंड एंड द टोटल सब्जेक्ट कंटेंट एंड द सब्जेक्ट मेटेरियल that also uh, provided in your whatsapp group now uh, i just tell you the first lesson and that first lesson is module 1 and that module 1 is mainly contained about the introduction of inning mechanics so today is the first class uh, or first lecture and that topic um, today i discuss that is actually the introductory part so so first this subject is the subject name is engineering mechanics and that engineering mechanics it is not only a subject it is also a, a basic conceptual physics application are also there so uh, mechanics is actually a branch of the engineering physics which is actually or engineering science which is actually uh, deals with some action of force and the any other uh forces which is actually acted on a body and most popularly uh, mechanics is defined in the uh, different subject and that subjects are applied physics uh, applied mechanics and also the modern physics and that um, three parts are included in this subject and mainly subject content are uh, various parameters uh, that parameters are mainly suppose some forces application of forces moment uh, different types of uh, law that are included in the uh, in this subject uh, friction friction behavior and also the friction application bearing life vibration moment uh, and some uh, bodies are also be there and the motion that can be transmitted from either in rectilinear motion or uh, in linear motion or projectile path that also be included in this uh, subject so total subject content i just uh, touch a brief line but uh, you can uh, you can uh, also watch out your group where the total subject uh, syllabus and subject content are also provided now the next uh, point that is also the subject uh, course object are also important in this subject that means the uh, when i go when we are going to uh, learn a new subject first of all we have to know what are the main objective of this um, course and what are the outcome that can we uh, learn after the courses so uh, course objective that is also, uh, also a preview of um, subject learning and outcome it actually the after the learning so first the course objective we can study in this subject uh, that is also the point number 1 develop the ability to work comfortably with basic engineering major mechanics concept required for a analyze, uh, analyzing static structure that is the point number 1 point number 2 identify an appropriate structural system to studying a given problem and isolate it from its environment model of problem using good free body diagram and accurate equilibrium conditions or equilibrium equations next solve the problem of equilibrium by using the principle of work and energy in the mechanical design and structural analysis and fourth point is that is also a co part that is the apply the concept of vibration to the problems associated with dynamic behavior these are the these three points four points are mainly the co part now next course outcomes after completing this course student must demonstrate the knowledge and ability to first 
point the outcome points first one is classifying different types of motions in kinematics number one number two categorizing categorizing the bodies in kinetic as a particle rigid body and in translation and rotation and point number three that is also a important point choosing principles that means the different types of principle uh, that are included uh, in this point uh, so that's why we are using the different uh, principle and uh, different principle are applying in this subject so that means the impulse momentum virtual work for equilibrium of ideal systems stable and unstable equilibriums and last point are apply the concept of vibration so these four are the outcome parts now next is course outline mainly course outline are included in different mode so first is kinetics kin sorry kinematics number 2 chapter is kinematics kinetic newton's law number 3 kinetics energy and momentum number 4 system of particle and number 3 4 5 that also are uh, involved in rigid bodies that means uh, suppose some applications are there like friction friction vibration rigid body particle and that all the parameters are discussed in this chapter means module module 3 4 5 clear and four part also included in chapter four sorry chapter four parts also uh, involved in system of particle and also the rigid body so all the um, points that um, mentioned in this slide that also the chapter main the module module 1 2 3 4 5 and also another point are there that point are included in this semester mainly that is the vibration part that also uh, included if i consider the uh, this point so obviously the module would be in 6 that that are the uh, extra uh, extra module that uh, included in this curriculum now next is introduction to mechanics introduction to mechanics means first uh, what is mechanics and why we study mechanics so these two points are very important when we, we are going to study this subject so first is what is mechanics so mechanics engineering mechanics and mechanics first mechanics so mechanics means physical science deals with the state of rest or motion uh, of bodies under the action of force that is the simply mechanics so we can classify this subject uh, sorry we can classify this point in different mode suppose mechanics we can divide into two parts simple two parts first one is statics second one is dynamics and static means when the bodies are in rest condition no motion would be there so that is the static conditions and dynamic conditions when the body are in running conditions that means some momentum is also there some force is applied and velocity also be there so that is the dynamics body and in dynamic part the two portions are also be there one is kinetic part and another is kinematics part so next why we study mechanics that means uh, this has science from the ground work for further study in the design and analysis of structure so any type of design any type of as we are belonging from uh, mechanical engineer mechanical engineering so we are considering each and every point of this uh, definition that means the mechanics definition in the design and analysis 
of structure that means uh, design and uh, analytical part also involved uh, for any type of designing components that may be suppose mechanical components uh, the bearing and design gear design uh, clutch design all the parts when we are going to design any um, type of game portion so that also be uh, considered the mechanic part mechanics part without any mechanic mechanics part we cannot consider any type of mechanism now next the basic these are the basic um, fundamental um, units or points uh, that we can consider first first point is uh, suppose some basic points suppose the essential point without uh, uh, this point we cannot consider uh, the um, total um, mechanics subject so essential term that essential term is, is to be uh, considered so first is statics statics means dealing with the equilibrium of a rigid body when body are in rest conditions that is the static portion and that i also explain next rigid body that means the relative movement between uh, its parts are negligible when the body are in uh, conditions uh, uh, contact position and if i apply the load uh, on a body so the body have um, no changes there is no relative movement also be there so on that situation we can consider this type of body are called in rigid body next dynamics dynamics that means the dealing with the rigid body when the body are in motion next length L length means applied to the linear dimension length is actually required to linear dimensions uh, that should be a straight line or a curved line area that also you know the what is area and dimension of area how to calculate the surface area all the points that you know the what is the uh, actual area calculation process now next volume it is actually a three dimensional size of space occupied by a substances so length uh, height and uh, x y z that means x axis y axis and z axis when are in in combined conditions on that situation we can get a volume next force the action that is if i explain what is force one in a one liner word so that means the force is an external agent which is used to um, which is used to ch change the state of the motion when the body are in rest conditions uh, or um, when the body are in running conditions just vice versa when rest condition we can um, and apply the external agent that should be in running conditions but uh, in opposite sides when a body are in running conditions if i apply external load they are trying to stop or they are trying to um, slow down uh, and at last at least uh, he, uh, they, they can um, stop at any substances and next mass mass means the amount of matter in a body that is mass portion next next weight 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 means the force uh, with which a body is attracted um, towards the center of the earth that means if i consider mass is actually in small m and then and we when we explain the weight so w if i consider the w is equal to weight so w is equal to uh, m into g mass into acceleration and last point is particle particle means a body of negligible dimensions a body of negligible dimension that is particle now next is unit of measurement so there are mainly four uh, four or five types of um, units are also be there main units fundamental units that are mass that is denoted by capital m length and capital l time capital t 
and last one is force capital F most of the cases we considered mass length and time if three fundamental quantities are also be there we can get any type of uh, parameter dimensions we can get any type of parameter dimensions now the next point to different system of units uh, we dealing with during the courses suppose some unit system are also be there suppose the simple system first one is cgs second unit system is fps third unit system is mks and next is si so at that situation mks unit uh, uh, not used in particular practical cases so in respect of the mks we can use the si unit standard unit that is the si unit so cgs uh, in centimeter centimeter gram second aps foot pound second and mks meter kilogram second and um, equivalent value mks equivalent value that also uh, calculated in form of si unit so now today standard unit is mks so that mks is meter kilogram second now length is uh, uh, international standard that is uh, standard unit or metric unit that also be length in meter time in second and force obviously in newton now now that is the unit of measurement the summary of four fundamental quantities in the two systems si and us us we are using only si units not used in us units so uh, in si units all the parameters already explained in previous slides that means the mass length time and forces now <clears throat> unit of measurement in metric system uh, that means the in si system we are offering major advantages related to the fps system so suppose one question we arised that why we are not uh, using the fps system rather than uh, any type of system so first point is uh, widely used throughout the world if a system is not widely used in throughout the world only si system are used throughout the world the next point is use one basic unit for length Le that also equal to meter while fps uses many basic units suppose inch foot yard mile so that is very complicated so we that's why we are using only SI units that is the meter but in APS system inch foot yard mile also be there so that is the main advantages of SI unit now next SI based on multiple of 10 which makes it easier to use and learn whereas the APS is complicated and that also a simple word and uh, for example in SI unit system uh, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter 1 kilometer is equal to um, 1000 meter but in APS system 1 foot is equal to 12 inches 1 yard is equal to 3 feet 1 mile is equal to 5280 feet so that is very complicated so that's why in formation or transformation of um, um, one system to another system si system is very easy but uh, ap system is not accessible in terms of um, the conversion rate now the metric system si newton second law suppose f is equal to m into a so f is equal to newton 
and mass uh, kg and acceleration m by square so that's why one newton is equal to therefore one newton force is required to given a one kg of mass that means the uh, the acceleration is required one meter per second square and now for unit of measurement system today's class is now um, stop at that situation that means the time is over now next class is and now next class we can discuss with a new topic thank you